Hey, what's up everybody? This is DDS and in this video I am going to just show you guys how to use the notes and chords features on the or scale and notes scales notes chord feature or whatever you want to call it on the machine that native instruments put in around the time that the machine studio and complete control came out which is behind me so for this video I'm going to be showing you how to access it on the machine studio and the complete control it was one of the requests for my tutorial series that I'm doing on the machine so yeah so let me get into it so first things first I need to load up a VST which is what I should have did in the first place I'm gonna load up Keyscape and while I do that I'm just gonna talk about how when this first came out I used to or before they did this I used to play the keys like on all the music well let me see if you go back and listen to Dave's Loaf's Sell Soul mixtape or even Try Me, I'm trying to think what other songs that we good. Um, just go back and listen to Sell Soul and all the songs that I did on there was prior to me having this prior to Native Instruments even releasing the chord feature. So I was really learning how to play the keys, how to do the chords and everything back then like on the piano that was when i had the akai mpk 49 so i was learning but when native instruments put this out i remember people were upset because they said oh it's going to have a whole lot of people we took years to learn theory and you guys are just going to destroy it or let anybody be able to access it and you know they were really upset about it i even caught some flack for it because somebody saw me making beats on the machine my machine micro which is up there you guys can't see it but I caught some flex. I was like, man, you don't play the keys no more? I'm like, this makes it so much faster. I already know which scale I like. I already know all that. So it just makes it so much faster. So let me just show you guys how easy it really is to go ahead and get something started. I have to load up. I'm going to use the Keyscape right now. I'm just going to load up a sound real quick. Um, okay, so the first thing, first things first. After you have a sound loaded up, you want to hit pad mode and that's on the micro whichever machine you're using hit pad mode like I said in my previous videos I keep mine locked in which is right there but so I hold it down lock it back in then you hit keyboard so from there once you hit keyboard it says your scale and it have major minor harmonic minor a whole bunch of blues everything Japanese whatever have it all here and then right here you have your these tell you which um, key you're in so if I go up, I can be in D, E, go back, F, F sharp, I guess it's called. I forgot what it's called. Excuse me. Not a pianist, but um, <laughs> let me see. So I, I kind of like the B minor scale. So I hit B, and then I hit scroll down to minor. Now I have something loaded up. Just have fun with this. And then if you go to the chords, they have the little harmonizer, and then from there you just... And you can play with some of those. But my favorite is the chords. They have major, like I think they have eight sets of major and minor chords. So yeah, so for the major... another major and then let me see a minor you can do that for any um, key so like wrong do D So that's how you access it on the machine and I'll show you on a complete control keyboard real quick just so you guys can see how it is on there. So give me one second. So hopefully you can see it over here. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think this should be good. So what you do for the machine, I mean the complete control, you hold down your shift and then you hit scale. And then from there you see where I locked it in at D minor 
chord sets over there so you can play where you have to hit scale to like to turn it on you just and then from there if you don't want to play the chords no more you just twist this knob and then you just go back to where it says D minor and then you just and they even have it to where you can now I never did this before because I think this is I know people say it's cheating to even have this, but this is the real cheating thing right here. When you put it on easy mode and it's just... See, I don't even know how to do it right, but I never really played with it like that. A lot of the time since this been on, I've just been using the machine, as a lot of you guys know. But I do use this for some of my beats. I'm getting back into it. I'm actually going to make another beat, you know, beat making video using something like this. So, yeah. You can also change the scales on here. And even if you hit these, it still plays the right one. You can turn that off, though, because it will just be used as a guide. So you can still use this to learn which will still mess up but if you put it on the map it won't allow you to mess up and that's good for live performers you know so if you are just if you happen to mess up it'll drop down to the right one so hopefully you guys this tutorial helped you and if you knew this already i'm sorry for wasting your time if you didn't know it hopefully you learned something I know some people wouldn't share this with you guys because this is like giving away a key. But I mean, hey, you'll figure it out on your own one day. So why not? <laughs> I hope you guys found this useful. Thank you for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, please continue to support me. Continue to watch my videos. I appreciate all the feedback and support from you guys. It really means a lot to me. And I just hope that you all tune in and continue to give me ideas for these videos. Thank you.